Hi, and welcome back to another video. My name's Emily, and this is my YouTube channel, The Simple Stitcher. I thought um, for this video, I would do a little kidding up video. I've decided to do a uh, Halloween star. And so I thought, since I'm gonna kit it up and I'm gonna go through the process, I thought I'd um, show you guys what I was doing. So the chart, um, so the chart that I've decided to do, that I'm going to do for um, my Halloween start is the Drawn Thread Trick or Treat, which you would have all seen it. Um, I'm very, very sure. It's a very popular chart and it's very cute. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, now, the main, um, the main idea for this, I saw someone else... That had done it or done a sim very similar chart but not this exact one um, using the Weeks Dye Works Trick or Treat. And if you watch my videos you know I went a bit cray cray and ordered from two places and I've now got like five skeins of this. So I've decided so I want to use this and I'm going to use it on this chart. Now I can't tag or credit the person that I got the idea from because I don't remember where I got the idea from. So uh, the person where I saw it. So um, to use this thread on a chart like this uh, is, I've pilfered the idea from someone else. So thank you very much for sharing whoever did that. Um, so obviously the first thread that I'm gonna be using in this, which I'm gonna use for the words. So trick or treat, the wording is the Weeks Dye Works trick or treat, which is perfect. So that's that. Um, so that's my main color. The fabric that I'm going to use is just a scrap. So it uses, so it calls for a 32 count dirty Belfast linen cut to nine inches by nine, 19 inches. Um, I've got a scrap of even weave that I just coffee tea dyed myself when I was doing some coffee tea dyeing. Looks like that. Um, looks a, it's got a few splotches. It's pretty manky and grotty. Um, this side's even more marbled, which is really cool, but there's a couple of really distinct um, splotches in the middle here. And I don't know if I would end up, I don't really want them in the middle of my stitching. So I'm probably going to go with this side, which is pretty cool anyway. It's nice and marbled and it looks good. It's got a couple of tiny marks, but not much. So this piece of fabric, I didn't actually have to cut it. I just measured it because I expected to have to cut it on here um, or do another bit. This is 10 inches by about 24. So even though I'm not exactly sure how big it is um, and I could measure it. I think I should be right. So, oh, this only does 18, 22, 14. Sorry. So it's come out about 28 inches at uh, 28 count. So if I do Let me just get my calculator. I think I'm, hopefully I'm doing this right. So 28 per inch Oh, here we go. 50 stitches tall 
by 210 wide. So 210 divided by 28. 7.5. I've got 28 threads per inch and I'm going to stitch this over two. So 210 divided by 28 is 7.5 times two is 15 plus another two. I've definitely got enough length. And then um, if I say, so it's 50 stitches tall, so 50 divided by 28. times two, so 3.57, so round that up to four, plus another two is six, and I've got 10. So even if my calculation's off, which there's a really good chance that it is, 10 by 24 will give me enough fabric, or should give me enough fabric I'm hope, if I start in the middle. So I'm gonna use this bit of fabric that I've got just sitting here. And then the colours that I've chosen, oops. so the colours that I've chosen, it calls for, and colours are listed here. Now, I don't want to show the char. Okay, so it calls for Dinky Dyes Black Coral, which is the trick or treat. Now, I'm not using that. We've already discussed that. I'm using the Weeks Dye Works trick or treat. Wherever I put that. Where did I put that? Oh, I've got another one here. So I'm going to use that. Um, if you can see my workspace, I've got, <laughs> I've got all my classic color works. I've got my silks for you piled up. I've got my jewelry. I've got my gentle art. I've got my water lilies because I thought I have to sort out all my threads. I've got my weak star works over here. I'm actually going to get some floss rings, um, but I've got to get to office works to get them. So, and then I'm going to hang them all up because I, I had them all dumped in a bag and it was just, it's just too hard to find everything. So I've pulled it all out. I've sorted it all and I'm going to get some floss rings. So I've got piles of threads around me. Um, so, I'm going to use, anyway, that was a tantrum. So I'm going to use the trick or treat. Um, it calls for needlepoint silk. So this calls for dinky dyes and needlepoint silk. Um, but I don't have any of those. So I'm going to use, for my white, I'm just going to use gentle art um, chalk. Just a pure white, which is for the skeletons and the... Mainly the skeletons, I think. And the ghost. There's a ghost. Um, for the leaves of the vines, I've chosen to use Classic Colorworks English Ivy, which is this one. The topaz which is, I don't know what that's for. Where did they use that? I might not have picked that. I can't even see it. Oh, the moon. So for the moon, I chose a white-ish. So they've got a, like a, the, the one that they've chosen seems to be like a white with dashes of gold through it. I don't have anything quite like that. So quite that vibrant, but I have the gentle out pineapple sherbet which is a white and it's got a very faint yellow tinge to it in sections. So that's gonna be my one of that. So that's for my moon, a very faint yellow. Um, for the pumpkins, I'm gonna use, so they call for Dinky Dyes Red Dust, I'm gonna use Terracotta, which is quite, well, looks terracotta and apricotish, but it's the closest sort of pineapple color I've got and it sort of looks like it's gonna match what they've got in their chart. For the tops of the pumpkins, they use cocoa bean. Now I'm sure I've got a cocoa or coffee classic color works 
but I can't see it here. I think I'm using it in another kit and I'm not too fussed because I've got Weak Star Works Rust, which has got a, which is browns with a little bit of a reg tinge, but I think that'll work all right. I think that'll look nice. So I'm going to use that. And then the, then it calls for black coral, which is for the spiders and the bird's beak. And um, I'm actually going to use it for the birds, the black birds as well. Um, I'm going to use onyx, which is more of a dusky black gray, but I'm going to use that for my blackbirds and the spiders and anywhere where it calls for black coral. Um, it's like a lovely blue black. Then wallaby grass is used for the cat's eyes. I'm actually going to, I'll see, I may change it, but at this stage, I think I'm going to use this bright green. So spring grass by gentle arts, but I may change that. I'll see, I'll put it in, see how it looks, but I could use bean sprout, which is that greeny color, yellowy green, or I could use like a lemon for yellow cat's eyes, or I've got blackbird, which is a blue black. I could use that. So I'm going to see, I'll see how it turns out. Um, I'll probably do them towards the end. So I've got a few different colors for that, that I might use for the eyes. And then in the witch's hat, um, it uses, so in here there's, um, in the witch's hat, that's the little banding and you do cushion stitch and it calls for Aussie gold and the wallaby grass, but I'm not going to use the wallaby grass that I use for the eyes. I think I'm going to use lemon grass by classic color works which is more muted and dusky and gold leaf by the gentle art. So I'm going to use those two in the hat, which I think go quite nicely together. So I'm going to use them. And then I think that's all. And there's a button in this. I don't have the button, but I might just sew the spiders on or go to my little local stitching store um needlework store and grab see if they've got any little tiny black round buttons i mean it's just a basic black round button so that's what i've chosen for my drawn thread my halloween start trick or treat so these are the colors that i've chosen wait let me see if i can hold these colors up So that's what I've chosen for my trick or treat. And that's what we're going to look like, hopefully, when it's done. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing me kit this up. Just a very short little or how what I'm going to use. Um, it's just a very short little video. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to get... Um, notifications of my future videos and like the video if you enjoyed it. Okay, thanks. Bye.